Member for Couch and Valley. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I also have uh, just a question for the minister, and it's a question that I actually asked about last year, so I'm revisiting it. It's a, in my writing, there is the Couch and Biodiesel Co-op. They sell a variety of, uh, of biodiesels with different, different levels of um, biodiesel generated from cooking oil. And, and in some cases, the diesel can be uh, mixed with 5% of that, but in other, there is a 100% biodiesel uh, option available. Uh, which is, is a carbon neutral, a carbon free uh, biodiesel. And we want to uh, clearly provide incentives to people to use this kind of fuel in their vehicles. Um, and, uh, and so I'm revisiting the question that I had last year, which was about um, the carbon tax continues to be applied to this 100% biodiesel. Uh, and interesting to note, um, Couch and Biodiesel actually just completed an audit uh, for the Ministry of Finance, and in that audit, they were able to clearly identify exactly the percentage of biodiesel in all of their fuels, including in their 100% fuels, uh, which has often been the, the reason stated for why the carbon tax can't be uh, removed from the 100% biodiesel. But in this case, they've demonstrated uh, quite clearly that they are able to identify exactly which fuel that is. So uh, the question is for you, Mr. Chair, to, this, to the speaker is, um, can we hope to see the removal of the carbon tax from the 100% biodiesel? Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Chair, through you to the member, and uh, thank you for the question and the, uh, the continued advocacy on behalf of uh, what is a unique company, uh, no question, in, in Cowichan. And I think that's part of the challenge uh, as others catch up uh, to the work that's being done. The, the member uh, talked about the identification uh, that the company has done that isn't practice across across the the industry and across other uh, examples of, of biofuel and that then creates the challenge that's the challenge with putting together a program uh, for in fact one company that's done the work around the measurement and other companies haven't um, so that makes it complex um, but given all of that uh, there's no question that we're continuing to look at uh, how we can uh, incent the use of biofuels um, and including 100 percent of course uh, biofuel so um, we'll consider that as part of budget uh, discussions and happy to have uh, further com um, conversations, but happy to receive the information as well uh, from the company around the work that they've done.